Of Psalms 10, starting with verse 2, and it says, The wicked in his pride don't persecute the poor. Let them be taken into devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous, whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Ashai, abhorred. First of all, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honor to Teacher Zealous and Apostle of Great Millstone. Also to your brothers out there that put out this truth faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep, and to your brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom. Continuing in the book of Psalms 10 and verse 4, and it says, The wicked, through his pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffed at them. And this is talking and describing Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man, who basically have been able to consume this entire earth under his spells of covetousness, which is what? All the other nations on this earth, including Yasharala, us so-called Black Native Americans and Latinos, coveted after of what Esau has been given. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, has blessed Esau with what? The sword, so that he can get what? The fatness of the earth. And with that sword, Esau has been able to consume the entire planet, okay? And taking what he wants, what he chooses to take, okay? And claim what he wants to claim as his, okay? Exalting himself, uh, exalting himself as the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? On this earth and he's seen and viewed as a god now we're going to take a look at as you see this video is playing here okay this is to give jake a reminder okay especially those two-thirds who have something known as stockholm syndrome because see, yeah, our people right now is being plagued with something called absent-mindedness okay they have forgotten the wickedness of this man okay they have not looked and viewed and seen the works of this man not only through the history that we have lived under this man for the last 500 years but also an example that this man has displayed okay across this earth bombing places like japan killing hundreds of thousands of innocent women children okay and men okay going into the middle east and destroying those people's lives over there okay in africa that he has decimated and even right here right now his eyes is privately set on the poor here in great babylon america mainly the tribe of israel us so-called blacks native americans and latinos okay but he has not thought about the dreadful consequences of doing this because why Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is not in his mind. Let's go into the book of Proverbs here because really Proverbs chapter 1 starting with verse 20 is really going to focus on what you see going on in front of you here with this video playing and it says wisdom cried without she uttered her voice in the streets she cried in the chief places of the concourse in the openings of the gate in the city she uttered her words saying how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge and that is these two thirds that, that are out there that are rejecting this truth they don't understand this is not simply just a book it is not simply just a Bible. This is the words of Yahweh and Mashiach is given as the wisdom, okay, to survive, okay, the devil who is the so-called white man and all of the traps and snares that he has set for us. And you dug on stupid jakes are out there trusting this man because you have what is known, what they determine and they uh, call Stockholm Syndrome, okay? Esau uses you simple jake for many of his purposes. One of those purposes is he put the populace at ease. You jakes are at ease out there, okay? You entertain his idea of superior okay by acting stupid you women okay doing shaking your booty okay you men out there sagging your your trousers okay doing a bunny hop okay smoking you know dope okay eating abominable food okay not following the dietary plan or any of the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he has set for us okay they view the children as furry animals did you know that okay they, the, they misdirect the hearing of the word which is a warning we are warning to you okay Let's continue on here uh, with Proverbs chapter 1, and this is verse 23, and it says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. This is the Lord Yahweh Shai, making it known that if you 
desire this truth, this warning to understand, okay, okay, what he has for us in the heavenly kingdom and also what is to transpire here on this earth, okay, in regards to the judgment that's going to come to the wicked here, then you would do what? Let's continue. It says, because I have called you and you refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded because, but ye have said it not, all my counsel and with none of my reproof. We are going out there. We're bringing up videos day and night, okay? Brothers are sitting down two, three hours to put a video together to bring it out. For who? For you, Jake. For you, okay? We have the spirit that's on us, okay? Each and every one of the brothers that are in this truth right now had a different life, and we will call into this truth, which is the greatest thing that can ever happen to any of us. Because out there, we were nothing, okay? We were lost. We now have a purpose, and this purpose is what? To do the work and the will of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our king, that is going to come here and destroy Great Babylon in America, okay? And it says, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear coming. Let's go back here and let's talk about these fears, okay? Because right now, as you see, there's a famine here in the United States. It's coming, okay? Not only the famine of the word is going to be coming, but it's also famine of food for you big fat mamas that can't put down the spoon and the knives and the fork even for a second, okay? And you barbecue pork eating Jake or their fat Jake or way Jake, okay? It's no secret that we are the most overweight, okay, of all the nations, okay? Because our people indulge, okay, in eating abominable food, okay? The pork, the pig feet, okay? Don't exercise, don't care about their body. Over, overindulgence and everything. Alcohol, okay? Wickedness, all right? Jake, take it to the next level, okay? And these calamities that Esau has, okay? Because Esau is what? The wicked. Have ye not seen what this man has done to us? Okay? If you have not, then take a look at this video, okay? You can see he has hung us from trees, beat us to death, rape our women, rape our kids, rape the men, okay? Fed us to sharks, okay? Alligators, okay? Worked us until we die. We come back to life again in a reincarnation and he worked us again to death. And we are continuously under this man oppressive fingers, okay, to this day. And it says, when your fear coming as a desolation and your destruction coming as a whirlwind, when the stress and anguish coming, coming, it's going to come fast, sudden, there's nothing you can do about it. You, have, don't, you don't have the resources, okay? These Edomites don't care about you. Remember, okay, Esau misdirects the hearing of the warning, okay? which is this word, okay? You will not see the snake in the chicken coop. You ignore the dangers that we're telling you about to this man. You cannot trust this devil, okay? He is your enemy, okay? You regard the white man as what? They answer to all your troubles, okay? They create the issues and the trouble, okay? And the problems, and then they tell you, okay, you know what? We're going to give you a little bit of money here, a little this and there and all that. Have you seen it? No, you're still poor. You're still living under the bridges. You're still sleeping on the benches, okay? You still have the diseases. You are the face of everything. That's what we are right now, okay? And you are not listening because you are under Stockholm Syndrome. Let's continue here. And it says... Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They sh shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Hey, go to your pastors, okay? Your pastors that are asking you to give donation to get a nice Gucci watch, okay? Or to get a new Cadillac or to take a vacation, okay? The same pastor that will look at your wife and then go have sex with her because your wife is a whore, okay? And he can't control what's between his doggone leg because why he's not a man of he's not, not a man of the lord he's a piece of crap okay created here in great babylon america to follow the ways of his wicked father okay esau the edomite the so-called white man and it said for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the lord you what is that fear understanding coming back to the truth coming back to your king that's the only way we're going to be saved out of this okay history has painted the picture perfectly for us we're living okay in hell right now as we speak they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. You're not going to listen to us. Why would you want to listen to a couple little, you know, short Negroes on the street corners talking to you, you know, dressed up in sackcloth, you know, with some signs, you know, we, you know, what y'all call hate against the so-called white man, you know, and hate against all the other nations, you know, hate against the, the, the Chinese because they give you, you know, that, uh, you know, that pork fried rice and everything like that. How dare you listen to us? Okay. And it says... They would none of my counsel, they despise my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices? You're going to suffer for your ignorance, okay? And the, the Lord is not laughing at you. He's not going to focus at you, the sky and laugh at you. No, we're going to laugh at you. 
And I love good comedy. I will watch my computer screen and I will laugh at you when CNN bring out, okay? You people running, getting dashed down, them dogs and them robot, robot dogs grabbing you, dragging you to those FEMA camps. These doggone Edomites beating the crap out of you. And guess what? Jake, who has joined on to them in the military and the National Guard and the police force, they are going to beat your ass too, okay? Okay? Your own family member is going to beat you. Why? Because they need to get that dollar, okay? And it says... Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. And this is why we go out there in fear, okay, to serve the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay, to bring out this truth, to do what he said. No matter what these people look at us, they blow their horns, they make fun of us, some spit, some throw shit at you, okay. You might take more of your time during the day or the week to go bring out these lessons, okay? Prepare for the next lesson or prepare for the next camp, okay? But this is what we do because why? We have to fear of the Lord. We want to be safe. We want our family to be safe. I don't want my wife to get raped, okay? I don't want to see the brothers and wife or children get raped, okay? So we are doing this. We are doing this acts in the Lord, okay? To take away our sins, forgive us, okay? And protect us when this white man come down and do what he's going to do. And all these other nations that are surrounded, that are under the influence of this doggone the wicked devil, the so-called white man, are going to come against Yashara, the tribe of Israel, our so-called blast Native American Latino. So I wanted to bring this up because I really wanted to take you back, okay? So that you understand that you can do what? Ecclesiastes 12 and 10 made it very clear. Never trust thine enemy for like us iron rusted, so his his wickedness. This man was created to be wicked and he will be in slavery as a wicked man and he will die, okay, out of existence as a wicked man after 1,000 years of slavery. So Lord willing, you are edified. I'd like to close by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, double honor to teachers, elders, and apostles of great most soon. Also to your brothers there that putting on the truth, faithfully, fiercely feeding the sheep, and to your brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom.